Hey everyone, it's Janice from sunny Southern California and I'm here to show you what I got from the thrift store. My roommate took me to a thrift store that we don't ordinarily go to and he was the one who pointed out these two knitting books which I'm super excited about. This is called Greetings from Knit Cafe and this knitting book was one dollar and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna make because um, this book is amazing. Unfortunately, the Knit Cafe does not exist anymore, but I am going to try my hand at working with mohair. And here's a mohair shawl because I got all this free mohair from one of my friends who is not going to knit anymore. And so I'm gonna make this or attempt to make it that's knitting. And then I also got this other book for a dollar. And don't be afraid of the book's title. It's called Teen Knitting Club. It says chill out and knit. And this one was from, let's see, what year was it from? 2004. And it has some really good tips. What I'm going to have to do is have one of my other friends do the math for me so I can figure out how to make these items for um, larger people like me. I'm not a teenager, but I got to show you where did it go? Okay, so I want to learn how to make this, which is a drop stitch scarf. And then I also want to learn how to make this, which is a poncho that all it is is a rectangle. Here's the diagram. It's a rectangle that you sew together. Oh wait, the other book had something. Okay, this Greetings from the Knit Cafe has a skirt that is supposed to be for a teenager, but I am going to show you what it looks like. It is so cute. So I'm going to have to calculate the math to make it for a grown up because this gives the pattern for a 12 year old. But this is totally a skirt right up my alley. It has novelty yarn and regular yarn and it has fuzzy yarn. And I'm going to try to make that but not until after Christmas. But I do have a lot of yarn that's novelty yarn. Okay, so this book was only a dollar. And then this book was also a dollar. The retail value of this was $17.95. And the retail, whoa, I just dropped it on the floor. The retail value of this book was $25. And then I got something so fun. Who would ever think that you would need a recipe book for peanut butter and jelly? But I got this book called The Magic of Peanut Butter and Juicy Jelly. It's a gift set. And it's really fun. I don't know what year it's from, but it's Skippy and Welch's. But um, it was only one dollar. So for a dollar, I figured, you know what? Okay, so there's really fun recipes in this book. Um, the Magic of Peanut Butter, 100 New and Favorite Recipes. You would never think that there would be recipes for peanut butter, but I am going to show you something that's so funny that my roommate and I are going to try it as soon as I can find the picture, because it's pretty funny. Who would have thought this? Who would have ever thought this? You can make, hold please, hold please. Where's the picture of it? I gotta find the picture or it's not worth it. So there's recipes in here for um, breakfast and there's recipes in here for snacks and there's recipes in here for shakes. But where is the picture that I saw that my roommate is like, we have to try that. Hold on, there's like recipe for peanut butter nachos, a recipe for apples that you dip in peanut butter and then dip in cereal. Oh no, where is that picture? There's a recipe for peanut butter rice crispy treats. Okay, I should have marked it with a post-it note, hold on. It's really funny if I could ever find the picture. I'm going through the whole book. Hold on. Maybe it was just a 
Maybe it was just a recipe and not a picture. Oh, I think it was just a recipe. Okay, well, the recipe says to take a hot dog bun and smear it with peanut butter. And then you put a banana in it and then you, um, you can put jelly on top. Like, you know how you would swirl the jelly to look like mustard? I thought there was a picture, but there's not. But the other thing that we thought would be really fun to make is this. Graham cracker nachos. So you heat up the peanut butter so it's like a little bit melty and you pour the peanut butter over the graham crackers and then you put um, chopped up apples, raisins, and walnuts. But I am not going to use the raisins because I hate raisins unless raisins are in oatmeal raisin cookies. I cannot stand the texture of raisins. It's nothing against raisins personally. Like, I like grapes, but I just cannot stand raisins. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Okay, here's another one that's kind of funny. You take a flour tortilla, and you put peanut butter and jelly, and then you put a banana in it, and you roll it up, and it's called Elephant Tusk Wrap. Okay, so this one, this peanut butter book was fun. And does not require that much cooking. But the jelly flavor, the magic of jelly, um, you do have to do a lot more cooking. So it says lunchbox, introduction, morning starters, little bites, cookie creations. And everything in this jam jelly book, you kind of have to heat the jam and heat the jelly. And it's really kind of interesting, all these weird things that you could do with jam and jelly. Like you can make... A cream cheese strawberry turnover by putting jelly inside and crescent putting whipped cream uh, cream cheese eggs inside of a crescent roll what else do you have to do you can do a grape coconut bar so it requires a lot more baking and stuff like the peanut butter book was like take an apple cut it in slices dip it in peanut butter and then roll it in cereal or roll it in chocolate chips and i was like okay that's not too hard oh who's ever heard of this it's called noodle charlotte so you take a package of medium noodles and you cook and drain them you preheat the oven to 400 melt half a quarter cup of butter in a 400 degree oven then you put the noodles in the pan and you put four eggs beaten over them with cream, one half a cup of light cream, and sugar, one tablespoon granulated sugar. Then you pour over the noodles. You bake for 35 to 40 minutes or until it's browned. Cut into squares and then put a dollop of jam. I have never heard of this, so I might try Noodle Charlotte over the holidays. Anyways, I just wanted to show you these great books that I got. So, I can't believe it. And I'm the one who opened this, too, because this peanut butter and jelly set was in wrapped in plastic. And this comes... Okay, hold on. I'm trying to put this together before we hit the 10-minute mark. Okay, there. So, it comes in this hard case. It's hard. And then you put it back in. And this was a dollar. The retail value, I don't know, and I don't even know what year this was made, but this was a dollar, this was a dollar, and this one was a dollar. So I have oodles of fun for $3, and what was tax? Tax was 10%, so oodles of fun for $3.30. All right, I want everyone to have a happy Thanksgiving, and be thankful. Tell all your friends to watch my video. Remember to hug your loved ones, subscribe to my channel, and have a great day, week, Thanksgiving, and I'll see you on the next video. Please take a moment to subscribe. Okay, love ya. Bye. See ya. Thanks.